Hello again, it's KJ. Welcome to part three of the UX Fridays content around the theme of UX versus UI. And I wanted to wrap this session up with one last example to explain the difference between the two. Specifically, I wanted to bring in an example, not around this, but uh, bringing in examples of the design of everyday objects or design of everyday things. And I wanted to bring in something that almost anybody could relate to. I want to talk about the bushel mug. Even if you don't have this bushel mug, you probably have some sort of coffee mug or mug that you use for tea or other drinks. So the bushel mug. I want to use to explain a little bit more about kind of expanding the definition of what design is. If you are kind of new to design or you're trying to ex expand that definition, you may be thinking, what is the difference between design and art? Well, if something is designed, that means it usually has some sort of function it's trying to serve. This actually does serve its design function because it's a tool to hold hot liquid. And another way you can think about design is that it has visual design aspects. It has quality material. It has color and shape. This is actually kind of raised. It's yellow material. It has a curve here. It looks aesthetically pleasing. So that's another part of what design is. However, the last piece, a part of that visual design is that it's ceramic. That is the part of the material. But the ceramic is actually quite heavy. Based on the shape and form of the handle, it actually can be quite hard to hold. That can create a poor user experience. I was kind of half joking, half serious about some of these pictures. Basically, it describes that design, it is a function, but it's more than functionality. It is visual aspects. It is an interface. When you're thinking about the design, of something you're designing or planning for that desired user experience. I don't know if you can relate to anything like this, but I thought this was a perfect example. I was sitting around my house and thinking about ways to describe UX in the real world. Thank you so much for listening and being here today for this session about UX versus UI. You can look forward to more content like this in the future. So thanks. Bye.